Hi all, in this video, I am going to explain how to form the Z bus matrix using bus building algorithm. Consider a problem. This power system network consists of 4 buses, bus number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 reference bus. The 4 buses that are corresponds to 4 cross 4 matrix. So what is the order of Z bus matrix that is 4 cross 4. Next I am going to explain how to form the Z bus matrix. What is the step number 1? Step number 1 is adding J1.25 between bus 1 and reference bus. Adding J1.25 between bus 1 and reference bus. See, 1.25 is added between bus 1 and the reference bus. What is the order of the matrix? The matrix consists of only one element. So, order of the matrix is 1 cross 1. So, Z bus that consists of only one element. This is the representation of Z bus. Next, I am going to explain step number 2. What is the step number 2? Adding J0.25 between bus 1 and bus 2. Adding J0.25 between bus 1 and bus 2. What about the order of the matrix? Here the new bus is added. 1 is old bus and 2 is the new bus. Order of the matrix is increased by 1. So what about the order of the matrix? Order of the matrix is increased from 1 to 2. So Z bus is a 2 cross 2 matrix now. See this is the new Z bus. How to write this? Already we know this element. So directly you have to write this. But 1 and 2 is connected here. There should be a connection between 1 and 2. So what I have to do, I am going to copy the same element in the next column and the same element in the second row also. And how to find out Z22? Z22 is equal to summation of J0.25 plus Z11. J1.25 that is equal to J1.50. So this is the step number 2. Next step number 3. What is step number 3? Adding J0.4 between old bus 2 and new bus 3. So this is the step number 3. What about the order? Order of the matrix is increased here. Already we are having the order 2 cross 2. Now it is changed into 3 cross 3 because new bus is added here. How to write this? This is the previous Z bus. That is the old Z bus. And how to write the new matrix? The same element you have to write it here. And this is the third one. Okay, you have to put this is a 3. And how to fill the third element, the third column and third row element. Here 2 and 3 are connected together. The second column element is copied here. Here also the second row elements are copied here. In this we have to complete this. And how to find out Z33? The Z33 is the summation of what Z22 because 2 and 3 is connected No. So, Z33 equal to Z22 plus the element that is connected between 2 and 3 that is J0.4. So, what is Z22? J1.50. What J0.4? That is 1.90. This is J1.9. 
Next, I am going to explain the step number 4. What is step number 4? Step number 4 is adding J0.2 between bus 3 and bus 4. That is the step number 4. Bus 3 and bus 4. Okay, here also the order of the matrix is increased because new bus 4 is added here. So, order of the matrix is increased from 3, 3 cross 3 to 4 cross 4. Okay. So, adding, what is step number 4? Adding J0.2 between 3 and 4. This is the step number 4. This is the new matrix obtained. How, how we get the new matrix? This is the previous matrix. It is 3 cross 3. Up to 3 cross 3 have to put the same element. That is Z bus old. And how to find out the new bus? 3 and 4 are connected together. So third column element and third row elements are copied. So third column element is copied and you have to put in the fourth column. And here also the third row elements are copied and you have to put this in a fourth row. In this way you have to complete this. And next find out the value of Z44. So how to find out Z44? 3 and 4 are connected together? No. So Z33 have to take. So J1.9 plus what is the element connected between 3 and 4 that is equal to J0.2. If you add both we get J2.1. So this is the value for Z44. Next step number 5. And what is step number 5? Adding J0.125 between old bus 2 and old bus 4. Okay. Here both the buses are old bus. Anyhow, the order of the matrix is first increased. After that, last column and last row element of the particular matrix is eliminated by node elimination technique. Then we get the required Z bus as 4 cross 4. Okay. So, this is the previous old bus matrix. Already we have got in the previous step. And how to find out the next one that is the fifth column and fifth row element. Here 2 and 4 are connected together. No. So what I have to do? The 2 and 4 are connected together. So how to find this fifth row element? 4 minus 2 or 2 minus 4. Anyway, you have to use 0, 0, then 1.9 minus 1.5 that is J0.4. 2.1 minus 1.5 that is J0.6. In the similar manner, 2 and 4, both are 0, 0, then 1.J, 0.4, then J0.6. And how to find out the Z55? So Z55 value is equal to Z22 plus Z44 plus Z24 minus Z24. What is Z22? Z22 is J1.50. Why I have to take like this? Because 2 and 4 buses are involved in this particular step. So then what is Z44? That is equal to J2.1. And what is Z24? The element connected between 2 and 4. It is small Z24. J0.125. And next, what is Z24? Capital Z24 is the element connected between 2 and 4. J1.50. Have to substitute this. I'll get the answer. Z55 as J0.725. Have to place this value. Then, what is the next step? Next step is, I am going to eliminate the last column and the last row in the matrix to find out 4 cross 4. Okay. So, this is the way to find out the Z bus. So, first you have to write the old bus. Z old. So, this is the Z old. And after putting this value, you have to write the column element first. And then write the row element. And here you have to write 1 by this value 0 0.725. Then I am going to 
multiply this 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0, 0 into j, 0 0.40, 0 into j, 0 0.60. And next multiply 0 with all the elements 0. Then j 0 0.4 with 0 and 0 will get 0. And j 0 0.4 into j 0 0.4 into j 0 0.725. J0.4 into J0.4 in divided by J0.7725. Both the J are get cancelled and what is 6 divided by 0 0.725 here J. Okay, what is the answer of time? J0.2206 and next in the similar manner J0.4 is multiplied to J0.6 divided by J0.725. In, in this manner, I have to complete the remaining also. After finishing this, you have to subtract the second from the first. So 1.25 minus 0, J1.25. In the similar manner, subtract all the values. We will get the new matrix. It should have the order 4. 4 cross 4 matrix. So another only one. Step is pending. There is a last step. In the last step, the third bus. Third bus is the old bus now. The old bus is connected to the reference bus. Here already the 4 cross 4 matrix is, matrix is up time. And next I am going to find out what 5 cross 5 matrix first. Okay. After getting the 5 cross 5 matrix, I am going to eliminate the last row and last column to obtain the required matrix. Okay, this is the matrix obtained in the step number 5. And what is the step number 6? Okay, next find out the next matrix. Okay, how to find out the next matrix? Oh, these are the old matrix and fifth one is how we get the old bus is connected to the reference bus. The third element should be copied here. The row, third row element should be copied here. And how to find out the last element? Is z 33 3, that is J0.6794. That is added with the element J1.25 get J2.9294. Okay, next. What is the next step? I have to eliminate both column and row. The column is eliminated and row is eliminated to obtain 4 cross 4 matrix. How to write this? First of all, you have to write the old bus and then write 1 divided by J 2.9294. Then here you have to write the column elements and row elements. Then multiply together. And divided it with J2.924, we'll get this new matrix. After finishing this, have to subtract second one from the first one, we'll get the required matrix. This is the required matrix of time. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. If I have any doubt regarding this, you have to ask me in the comment section. I will reply. Thank you.